about the real estate numbers and we all know that more square footage is a very good thing. But what if you can't get more square footage? How do you bring the illusion of more space without actually, you know, buying a bigger house? Um, or adding an addition. So Brian, you've done this with uh, many spaces. We're gonna show you one particular space and all the things that were sort of wrong with it, right. why, yeah. why the homeowner wanted to yeah. knock out some walls, make it look bigger. You wanna start with kind of evaluating your lifestyle. So yeah. maximize your space for you. Mm -hmm. So for instance, um, in this first picture, we see this, the kitchen and it's, it's a little bit dated. It's very traditional. Yep. And it's got like an antique finish on it, which is just, like I said, dated. Yeah, the homeowner was done with it. The homeowner was done with it. She had just bought the house and she wanted to make it reflect her. That's right. So um, we'll go through the afters later. Yes. We'll, we'll go to the next picture. There's another kitchen shot here. So you can see another sort of view of, um, yeah. of the, the kitchen she sort of and wanted to And you can see change. that the bones of the kitchen are really nice. Right. Like it's, it's a little bit traditional, which isn't for everyone, mm -hmm. but the bones of it are nice. So it would, be, it would have been such a shame to, to rip it out and yeah. then put in a new kitchen, you know? Yes, so, don't do it gratuitously. Think about what you can keep and what you can salvage. We're gonna right. look uh, at another picture now, and this is, this is, is this the entrance? So this is interesting. So this is the back entrance, but that's where she parks. That's where the garage is. Okay. So she found it so tight as she was coming in, because there was a kitchen table, yeah. then there's a breakfast bar, and then there's a dining room. Right. So she had three spaces to eat and not enough room to come in with her and her young son. Yes. So uh, I will show you in the tape later how we transform that. And okay. the answer for us there was to remove the kitchen table, even temporarily, yeah. because she needs that enter sp entrance space mm -hmm. and she doesn't need three areas to eat. That's right. Her so you can do that. Think about the way you're living. Yeah. In the living room, we're looking at the fireplace now. Uh, did she have issues with this, with this area of the house? Well, I mean, it was just really cluttered before. Okay. And they, they right. painted this kind of yellow square here, which just is really disjointed. Yeah. And cleaning up some of that clutter gives the illusion of more space. Right. So, Always. We say edit, edit, edit. Now we've got a wall uh, area here. Yeah. So she lived in a condo before and she moved to this house that was three times the size. Mm -hmm. But she found she was using this area all the time mm -hmm. and then the wall cut the dining room up so much that she wasn't using it yeah you know so it was almost like she moved into a smaller house which was ridiculous right. so the answer here wasn't to renovate the kitchen it was to knock down that wall yes and create more space by making it open concept really good thought there yes. um and then when you did open up that wall oh, when you open walls can of worms can of worms what was going on there so it's a supporting wall, which I knew, but I was not expecting all the vents of the house to run through the top plate of the supporting wall. Right. So what that means is the joists above sit like this on a plate. Yeah. And what they did was cut. Wrong. Wrong. That's what the picture yeah. says. Yeah. So nice. I did that in a, in a little bit of frustration. You can see yeah. it in the jagged writing. <laughs> yeah. No, I get it because you've got to come in now and fix all of that, right? right? And, and it just turned into such a bigger job because yeah. now we've got to reroute all the vents yes. and, and restructure the wall. I mean, this doesn't take a genius to realize that that is very, that very, is very wrong. wrong. Okay, so he made it right. Now that we've seen the befores of this home, let's take a look at the transformation. I'm standing right where there used to be a giant wall, and it wasn't conducive to a comfortable living situation. Now, and we have this huge open concept space that she loves. When you're working in an older home, the moldings are really intricate and you can't buy them anymore. So in this case, it was really important that we took down the wall very, very carefully. Had we cracked the molding, I would not have been able to purchase it and I would have had to remove the molding all the way around the room. And that's the molding that's everywhere else in the house. So my client would not have been happy with me. <laughs> Another challenge that we had was the floor. When you remove a wall, you've got scars in the floor. So we were lucky in this case because there's a border all the way around the dining room, so the wood changes directions. And we were able just to add on to the border and create this seamless look for half the cost. We wanted to do something different on the ceiling, so we chose to wallpaper it. And we kept all of the walls around a nice simple white, so things like this chandelier can really stand out. It adds a ton of elegance to the space. We've done a live edge rough table, which brings a little bit of comfort to the space instead of it being too pretentious. It was really important that we didn't put anything on the walls that competed with the chandelier. And the best way to do that was a giant mirror. We basically have two chandeliers in the reflection. 
On the other side, my brother and I created this custom artwork for our client and we've done the base color in a matching paint to the wallpaper on the ceiling and we created this really cool graphic art using electrical tape. That is a huge transformation. I can see that you changed styles as well. You talked a lot about the traditional cabinetry and you went into a more transitional style. Transitional, and transitional is the mix of traditional yeah. and modern. And it can be any combination, 2080, 5050, whatever works for you. Right. Um, and an easy way to do that is to keep the traditional moldings, but then freshen the colors. So in whites yes. and grays and taupes. Yes. And that's what we did. Um, it looked amazing. Yeah. Now, uh, you created more usable space without actually adding square footage and getting rid of that wall was a huge part of it. Yeah, because now she has such great access to the dining room yeah. that she doesn't need that kitchen table right. and, and eventually when her, her son's older she doesn't need so much room yeah. in that area she'll put the table back right. but for right now it's perfect for her lifestyle that is perfect oh I'm excited to see the rest of the renovation let's take a look believe it or not this is a really really kid-friendly space we chose a busy pattern rug because it hides those little crumbs that fall on the ground and we used a luxury vinyl on this custom ottoman, which is highly wipeable and highly durable. Back here, this used to be painted a yellow color before I started, and we decided to paint it all white to keep it nice, light and airy and make it a full feature wall that blends in with the rest of the house. We kept the accessories minimal because we didn't want the space to feel cluttered. And we went with an L-shaped couch because this back entrance ended up being a piece of gold for the homeowner. The parking is in the back and this is where she comes in all the time. So we made this her own little private entrance with a little bit of storage which doubles as a sofa table as well. It may not look like it but this kitchen is actually 25 years old. We started by painting it out and instead of having the whole kitchen sent out and sprayed, what we did was had the doors sent out, we sprayed those, but everything that was attached to the wall, we painted on site. It gave us the look we wanted and the durability, but at half the cost. We also changed the hardware to nice modern black hardware, and we added some wonderful modern soft clothes to make it seem like the kitchen was built yesterday. We were really lucky to start with beautiful appliances, so we saved money there, and we worked with the existing countertop. It's already stone, it's in great condition, and it saved us lots of money. Originally, this space was dated, closed off, and cramped, and just didn't work for my client. Now it's an open concept living with bright white walls, tons of natural light that she can spend time with her son, relax in, and also throw awesome parties. 